Um, yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, see you, man. Have a good day. Damn. Yo. What's up? What's up? What's up? Um... Do you have any... Actually, do you want to have an alliance? Okay. All right. First one in right now, chat. First one in. If you're watching the stream, we actually recently got a whole bunch of new things added to the game, such as new maps for monthly servers, and it was very interesting. And I was one of the first ones to load into the server that I was on, so I decided to just look around for a bit and see where it takes me. Oh. It's not for you yet? Just try to reset game, chat. Try to reset game, it's not working. What time zone? What time zone? Right now it is 312. It is a uh, freaking. Uh, I think it's like Eastern something. Rust Mobile Works? Yeah, bro. Of course Rust Mobile Works. It's the best Rust there is, my guy. I don't know why I just did that. BP wipe? No, it's not BP wipe. Hey, our first one, the bandit? Alright, let's discuss where I want to put a base at. Satellite is looking kind of sussy. Mining outposts and outposts are right near each other. So there'll be no point in doing it over there. I think actually right here near satellite dish would be good. It's in between bandit and satellite. So maybe like H7. So the way I'm going. Yeah, thank you all for showing up so far. I appreciate that. There it is. Show map, please. This is map. Okay, I'm, I'm done showing map. I'm done showing map. Like, I got focus. I saw that there was an airdrop on the other side of Bandit Camp. And since there's only like amount of 14 people in the game at this point, I decided I might as well go for it. See if I can get some easy loot straight off the bat. Yeah, since the update, I haven't crashed really either. Yeah, that's a good thing. Alright, since we're getting close, move that around. Yeah, all got white bub blueprints. Hey, yo, good haul, good haul. What's up? that I decided to go to bandit and scrap anything that I did not need to so get that easy scrap so I could possibly research the Thompson or the pump nearby in the future I feel like I put this on the wrong side After getting everything set up, I decided to head over to airfield, see if I can get some more loot, make my life easier. What the hell? That is weird as hell.
After doing the run at airfield, I decided to honeycomb my base and you know upgrade it a little bit. Try to get it a bit more sturdy. Actually, after finishing up what needed to be done, I decided to head over to launch site, but I soon realized that people were taking Bradley much more geared up than I could handle, and they were coming after me. Bro, oh my goodness. I heard them find someone and I thought I could get an easy gear set off one of them if I managed to, but I was sadly too late. Bro, what is that, bro? Explain that to me, bro. As you can see, the streaming name that is given to them is Cornell to hide their identity and also hide my identity from other people. Um, basically, I don't know who this guy was, but I'm pretty sure he was part of the big group that I faced later on in this video. And there'll be more insight on that later in the video. So yeah. After failing the first time, I decided to try my luck again and run lunch, so. Ooh, rocket launcher, okay. Coffee can helmet, okay, okay. Okay. What do I have here? I got Thompson already. If I can get a tier two, that'd be good. Very good. If I manage to get a tier 2, I get a tier 2. But if I don't have enough for tier 2, then I'll just use it for uh, researching coffee can helmet. I started hearing a voice outside my base, and I was kind of confused. I didn't know who it was. I assume some random or someone from the stream I did earlier that day, but I couldn't be sure, so I was kind of hesitant at first. I need help.
Oh shit, my mic was muted. <laughs> my fault, my fault. Uh, do, do you wanna do you want you want to team up, bro? Like you wanna you wanna be in the alliance? Me and you team like alliance thing. Sure. Right here, I'll invite you to my team. Yeah. I live over here. In a hand. Did you get it? There you go. You should have got now. I didn't know if I could fully trust him yet, cause he said he was in a party and he said he couldn't invite me to it. So it's kind of kind of sus. I didn't know if he was working with people that I faced before, and they tried to send him over here, try to get in my base or something like that, try to inside me. So, I was a bit skeptical at first, and waited it out, see what happens. Mm -hmm. So, you got any, you got any beef with anyone? Or did you just start today? Well, I mean, everyone started today. Mm, no, I just started like probably an hour ago. Yeah, oh, I see. Hit him once. Okay. He's lagging. What? He just teleported. Oh, there's still one. There's another. Oh, there's three just run. I froze, so I can do nothing. Yeah, I know. Freaking uh, freezing. I don't know. Now, at this point, I was kind of. It was kind of getting on my nerves. You know, when I was just trying to mine and people were killing me. Now, obviously, it's part of the game. So, you can't hate them for that. But, we were naked. So they had no idea that we were even doing anything. They just came over there and shot us. So, I wanted to get some revenge. Oh, they're back. Got one. Grab his stuff, grab his stuff. Right, let's go. Uh, you said they're still over there, right? They're back over there. You see that tiny boots? Yeah. Yeah, I, you can see them from here. We can probably take them. Yeah. Wouldn't be hard. Do you I'm need bullets? Uh, do you, you want to? Yeah, do you need bullets here? Ah, uh, three bug shots. Yeah, gun. Do you know what gun it is? Uh, just DB? Okay, keep it far range. That's fine. Once. Knocked one. Hit him twice. Watch out. Nice, nice. Grab loot, grab loot. Nice. It felt pretty good to get pet back on them. I was happy I did it. After running launch site, I hit up bandit camp and I decided to scrap all the stuff I got from there. We got a whole bunch of guns, a whole bunch of loot that we could use to get a whole bunch of better loot, obviously. And after I got the scrap, I went back to base and decided to stay up a little bit longer to try to get a new base set down because I feel like I messed up my original base design and I wanted to change it into a smaller base, more defensive and not really standing out too much.
After getting the main base set right, down, I had a helper to help me transfer loot from the old base to this base because oh. I had a lot of loot in my old base and I did not feel safe going oh, back and forth each time. Pro build. At this point in the day, it was already like 3 a.m. in the morning and I was getting super tired to be honest. I decided to head off for the night after I got the upkeep done and I already had the first floor finished, all the doors, I put down all the chests, all my loot that I had. And I also had the second floor done as well as the honeycombs. Now, it took a pretty good minute to do this. So I was hoping I didn't get rid of that night. And luckily I didn't. I woke up tomorrow with a fine base. Alright, allow me to put it in retrospect on where we are at the map, okay? Alright. The green will be me, alright? So let's see where we at. Uh, I'm used to be here. I used to be here in the map. Now, I replaced my base over here to get a nice angle of the three tallest points in the map, basically. Right over bandits, right near satellite, and I can go to outpost if I need to. There are enemies almost all around that area. There's a guy down here, another guy. Guys over by Bandit past here. Pretty big base, they're like a clan. And then I had some enemies over here to distance. There was another really big clan over here though. Uh, and a lot of smaller bases. You know, there is a couple small bases around me, but I think I'm doing pretty good. All right, this blue, this blue is the outside right here. I have, I'm gonna make a compound around my base at some point and it's gonna be either stone or wood I'm just waiting on some uh, you know stone walls see if I can get them if I can't then you know I might just make a wood but I'm waiting on a door as well the biggest problem right now if I had to say would be trying to get to these guys besides them there's also one more base that I did not necessarily like right here right at launch site okay these guys were just messing with people going in and out of the launch site every time and i always saw them there they're like pretty annoying and so basically what i plan to do i plan to get enough satchels uh if i can c4 i do have a rocket launcher i'm sweating on rocket ammo if i can get rockets i'm gonna raid these guys and try to take care of them so that's basically the plan if I can't, then I'm gonna try to go for these guys right here. So these are the two main enemies between me and launch site. These guys always head to launch site and take Bradley. These guys, they just camp launch site. So they're the roof campers, alright? So these are two main enemies right here that I need to deal with at least. I'd rather rest than Ark. Ark is just kind of weird and garbage. You know, in the morning when you get back on, you can just get a new bit of stuff. Then I'll let you out. Oh, shit. And there's a guy outside the base. Nice. Nice, kid. Nice. Ah, yes. The classic door camp. Now, I wasn't expecting to be out there. I saw a glimpse of him, but in reality, I had no idea he was even there when I was playing at the time. Now, looking back at it, you can obviously see that I was there and how I didn't notice him. Somehow, I have no idea, but I had to hunt him down. I can only assume that he went somewhere close. Yo, can somebody go back to the stream to see what his name was? At this point in the day, I was still streaming for the second day, obviously, and I was asking stream what the guy's name was. I think it was either the Tisha, or something starting with an L. I need to go back and find it. Tila? Okay.
Yep, do that. I'm gonna punch him down. I'm gonna punch him down. Nah, bro, I'm gonna hunt that guy down now, bro. I'm hunting him down. Find out where his base is. Raid him. Ugh. Where could that guy have gone? Alright, let's look at it from a standpoint, okay? Let's look at it from a standpoint. Alright, chat. Listen. I came outside the door. I started running down the hill. He was right here. As soon as I started running down, he shot me. I turned around, aimed at him. Didn't get one shot in before I died. So by the time I shot him, I was already dead. And then, he either ran straight this way, he ran left, I don't think he ran right. By the time I chased him down to this way, as soon as I spawned back in, I could no longer even see him. So I'm guessing, he must have went down the mountain. And he can either be one of these two bases, or it can be somewhere on the left side base. Yep, it's him, Revy. Got him, easy. How do we get up there? Silver killer. Who? Why? Silver killer. Hmm. What's his, what was his name? Oh yeah, it was like I'm just a punch something. Um, I got killed by him yesterday. Do you know where he lives, perhaps? Um, I think I know, I'm not sure. Okay, let me ask Maybe you this. If you're a like solo, why do you have a code room? lock? I think... Uh-huh. Because I uh, like code locks? Bullshit. It's either he has a teammate and he's lying to us, or he knows who the guy is and he knows where he lives, but he's allied with them. Kinda sucks that I kinda get his stuff, or I kinda get all the scrap that he had in there before he researched something. I wish I could've got it. I don't know who puts the- who puts the freaking researcher on the roof, dude? And he has such an easy way to get up there as well. Hold up, shots, shots down here. Want to go for that? Yeah. Or launch. Slow, slow, slow. Got one. Yep. Be careful, dude. Be careful. Ah, oh, shit, my aim. One's over here. I hit him one time. Got him. I'm nice. reviving you. I'm, rev I'm reviving you. Get ready. Grab the goods. Oh, 
Yo, yo, I can't grab. Dude. The fuck are you? You know what I'm saying, man? You gotta freaking watch your surroundings, man. I can't grab that guy's stuff right now. And it's watching closely. Yeah, but these guys kind of ass. He missed all those shots. Apparently, in this area, these guys were some petty roof campers to everyone around them. They always camped on the roofs and they wouldn't let anyone go in and out of launch site, which was a big problem for me personally. You know, launch site was my main resource of scrap, so I had to deal with them some way. But they just kept bugging us the whole time during launch site runs. I don't know why you dropped all the way down like that. Someone, 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 someone. Yep. Go around the side here, go around the side. In twice, in three times, got him. It's him. You know, it was him. I have another person, another person, another person, another person. Listen, dude. They might just be coming back over and over again, try to kill us. Yeah. Let's go the other way. Come on, follow me, follow me. Oh my goodness, I'm ahead of the time. Someone, someone, someone. This is not a good area. Got him. Just like I said, these guys kept coming back and forth to the launch site trying to get us as we were getting loot. And they just were not giving up. Apparently, while I was offline that night on day four, my base was raided. My friend said that he was sleeping in the base and they used satchels. And if you're wondering why he was even in the base, it's because he was from the stream and he asked if he could just sleep there. Shit. Now, most people would have given up by this point, getting raided, you know, on like the fourth day of wipe, but nah. I, I just didn't want to give up yet, you know, I already had the blueprints I needed, I researched rocket launcher before the day I got raided, so I thought I could do something about it, you know? Uh, if you're wondering why this quality of the gameplay is so bad, it's because I had to use quality of the stream because I could not uh, find it in my recordings because I guess I forgot to record it, so it's only going to be that bad for um, like 30 seconds, so yeah, sorry about that. guys around here were doing the usual patrol around this little cutoff of the island we were on and they were fully two tier two gear set guys. I remember their names Trauma Q and something map, else. This is, Actually, I don't remember the second this guy. Is water, this map is water. <laughs> but I went back out because I heard explosions. Try to get an easy loot off them. What the hell? See I thought I had been getting raided because that was really close to my base, but it was actually the base lower down on the mountain that I earlier had tried to raid on stream with a shotgun because there's just one wooden door. So I just grabbed the bean can and yoka and tried to get the easy loot kit off someone at least. Oh, whoops. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, I really just missed that. Wow. We're going, boys. We're going. Deep one. Stop, stop. Go grab the stuff. Go grab the stuff. Go grab the stuff. Go, go, go. Yeah. They're getting a great amount of loot only from someone that I didn't even kill, really? I thought it was a great haul for a new day, you know? It was absolutely amazing to get all this stuff. So, now I just had to go out and kill more people with it really. I also wanted to do some miniature upgrades on my base, so I went to go get some stone, but I saw someone else was actually building a base right up the hill from where I was, and I didn't want that to happen. So, how to kill him? Gotta stop him. Go to the base. How? <laughs> Those guys were already carrying a bunch of loot, so I just used what I got from them to upgrade my base. As I finished up my base things, I went to go farming for gunpowder and metal because I wanted to start doing raids again. But I ran to a familiar face that I never thought I'd see again. I'm gonna punch you down. A name that seemed really familiar to me. Now, let's go back a couple days to where it all happened. It was the door camper that recently door camped me at least two days ago, I think. And she was the guy that really ticked me off just because of that reason. Not because of uh, any anything. Like, didn't, I didn't care they took my loot set or anything like that. It was about pride and the meaning of the game. Yep, do that. I'm gonna punch him down. I'm gonna punch him down. Nah, bro, I'm gonna hunt that guy down now, bro. I'm hunting him down. After hearing an explosive from the base down at the hill, I thought it was I'm gonna punch him down, considering that I didn't take anything off my body when he last killed me. So I went down there trying to grab another loot. Alright, let's go. One thing that I do want to mention is that this base over here was super laggy for no reason at all. I have no idea 
what was going on with it but it just made it hard to play and the frames were a bit worse and I was on the PS5 so it's weird Getting back to base and deploying the set, I thought I was in the clear. Yo, what's up? Can I get my full kit back? Sheesh. Wait, were you guys living there? Like, were you getting raided or were you raiding them? That's a thing. They were reading us. Oh, okay, I see, I see. See, now, I'm a nice person, and you don't want to be nice in Rust. Because that was my weakness, being too nice to people. You're naked, though. Don't come with no gun. No, no, we'll just use the, the, I got a trade thing right there. Was that it? Um, yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, see you, man. Have a good day. Damn. Yo. What's up? What's up? What's up? Um... Do you have any... Actually, do you want to have an alliance? Now, after this, I thought everything was going to be fine. This big clan wanted to alliance with me and said that they weren't going to attack me. But Murphy's first law is anything that can go wrong, will go wrong. Okay. Fucking put the key lock on. I managed to successfully defend my base from a uh, one person raid with explosives. I think he thought he could easily take me because I was just a two by one base with only three doors. So I think that's why he thought he could easily take me.
Bro! Jesus Christ. While I was happy about easily defending my base, I was a bit sad that, you know, I was completely lied to, and another rule is rust, don't trust anyone. That's a very simple rule, and I trusted someone not to raid me, and five minutes later, he comes back and tries to raid me. It's, it's weird. It doesn't even make sense. All I could do was really just try to get enough explosives and try to defend my base next time or try to raid them, but it was almost impossible by myself. I was a solo player on this server, really. The only people I knew were some people that came to the server from one of my live streams and, you know, maybe some randoms, you know, that was it. It was just me and some randoms against a three or five person team i had no idea how many people they had but they were a very big base how was i gonna handle it the next thing that i started to do was just make more explosives and try to rate them as i was making the explosives i was calling friends anyone that I played with in the past or in my recent videos and seeing if they wanted to come onto the server and help me raid them right over the cell I decided to go show the people that I had found where the base was and the people that I allied with. And they both thought that we could raid it. But I wanted right. to get some more opinions. There's a spot. Here, come over here, come over here. Go crouch, 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 crouch. Alright. So here's the plan, okay? If this ladder's still here, we go up this ladder, okay? All right, we walk across from here. Look, see, there's lights coming right behind this wall. That means there's stuff there. All right, there's probably no door behind this. We blow through this door. We use some expo bolts, then use the, or we use two satchels, then use expo bolts. All right, blow this door open, go through the next door, two satchels, expo, blow it open, and then that should be good to make it to this area, this general area, okay? And then, there'll probably be a place where you drop down, so we just blow that open next. Okay? After getting a lot more people online, I think we added like three more people, so it was me, uh, people from stream, and then a couple other people. And I think there was at least six of us, and we had 14 satchels, and a stack and a half of expo ammo. Now, this would be a very difficult raid to get done, I can tell. And I don't think we were going to be able to do it, to be honest, but it was do it now or get raided. So I chose why not attack. 8558. Or sorry, 8585. Yeah. Hey, yo, listen, I'm going to split the satchels with someone. Who wants them? That's no, it's mine actually. You know, both of those are mine in the chest. Yeah, you can you can use it. You can use it. Go for it. Uh, everybody coming? Yeah. Yep, this is the base. Come on. Listen, listen, someone stay on roof and watch. Yo, stop, just take your time. Take your time, goddamn. While it was Yo, true, someone's coming, someone's coming. most of the people were unexperienced with the art of raiding and rust, and probably weren't as skilled as 
plays I've seen in my day, but they were all I had, so. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, yo, 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 just respawn, 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 quickly. Alright, I'm gonna start, okay? Everybody else get up here. Two people stay aside. This is the only way they can get out through the top, so we just gotta watch the top from here, guys. And you guys watch the bottom down there. Murphy's second law. Nothing as easy as it looks. Shock trap, shock trap! Listen, we just need two people to watch outside. Four people inside, okay? Okay, let's let's think about what we're gonna do next, okay? Back up, back up! Yo, stop coming forward, dude. Okay, kill him. If they had a green dot, kill him. I got it. Watch out, Binkin! Yo, help me out here, help me out! Yo, bro. This is where everything completely went to shit. We all died, really. There were only a couple of us left there. They were a two-man group online at the moment. There's only two of them online. And it was six of us. Right. I don't know. There's another one. There's another one. Watch out. I don't want to say it's anybody's fault, but we were definitely in the wrong here. We were yeah, absolutely dog compared to these guys right now and i don't know if it's because of how yeah, laggy the base was because i was i wasn't the only one saying that everyone else's frames were dropping because of their base or maybe it's because we had inexperienced players on our team or something like that but after that it took, like that was all the guns i ha had everyone had guns everyone had a set that took all the guns that I had to make sure everyone had something to use during that raid. And after we all died, that was it. We had nothing left to use. Honestly, I didn't feel like giving it another shot and grinding back up in the bottom. I already had blueprints. I already had things like that. I didn't need to play on the server any longer than I needed to. Now, I was still going to play on the server when I was doing my own thing, maybe streaming or something like that. But I did not want to play on the server for another YouTube video kind of thing. Maybe next wipe I might. You know, maybe I might try to make a bigger group, get a clan going, so I can just raid these guys, get a revenge video going, something like that. And if you do see one of those videos, comment this. Omega is here to take tax returns. All right. If you see if you see a video like that, Omega is here to take tax returns. Bro, their base is so laggy. But yeah, that that's completely it. We lost the raid, and we got dogged on.